Before I start this video, I need to inform that you cannot expect videos this often, alright? I usually have a busy schedule, I'm always doing something, and I just never really have time for these videos. I need to talk about this though. This is something, it happened a month ago, and my friend just told me about it. Uh, he helped me with a lot of the research, and thank you, you know who you are, and I thank you very much. You made this so much easier for me. Now, for those of you who don't know, GameSpy is basically multiplayer for older games. Like, if it wasn't running off Steam, it was running off GameSpy pretty much. GameSpy also, they're very interesting people. They were very, always very engaged in the community, and they sort of played along with them. You know, like, they apparently... I mean, I haven't really been following them a whole lot, I'll admit, but I do know who they are and this does impact me quite a bit. But anyways, so GameSpy, apparently they went and they pointed out Microsoft's neglect to PC gamers and poked fun at Ubisoft, which is one of my favorite developer companies I'd like to point out. But that's against the point. GameSpy, after 14 years of being just being called GameSpy, they're shutting down. Not entirely, they're just shutting down some games. Now, according to their site, the post where they were explaining all this, I'll leave a link to the post in the description if you're interested in seeing that. He says that they're not shutting down because the PC gaming is unimportant or is not growing. In fact, that's the complete opposite. They know that it's very important and it actually is growing, especially with the consoles being such, uh, I'm trying to think of an appropriate term to put this in, rubbish. They're not very good. They're all underpowered. They're not going to last for 10 years or even seven, probably not even four. They just, uh, that's a video for another day. So they're not shutting down because no one knew of GameSpy. That's actually the complete opposite. There's actually a lot of games that run GameSpy, like if you've ever played Borderlands, I'm not sure about Borderlands 2, but Borderlands, the original Borderlands, the multiplayer is GameSpy. That's what you're using to play multiplayer. And I think I read somewhere that games or that Borderlands, excuse me, the multiplayer is going away, which really surprised me because no one really played multiplayer. But uh, I'm not sure if that's confirmed or not. So if you want, you can Google it. I mean, if you're even still playing the first Borderlands with multiplayer, I'm pretty sure you'll still be able to play with your friends if you use like Hamachi or LAN. Anyways, apparently some, d I mean, um, <clears throat> some man, a man named Dif Ziff Davis, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, it looks pretty simple, but Ziff is a bit odd, no offense Mr. Davis, he bought the company out, and decided, he decided to run, and I quote, an efficient, focused company, and he claims that managing several different sites that all cover video games isn't exactly the model of efficiency. Seeing as it's GameSpy and just their name is about games, I really disagree with you, Mr. Davis. I don't know what you were thinking. I mean, whatever. GameSpy, as I mentioned earlier, it's not going away. It's just some game supports are, and servers for some games. Now, here's a list of some games I saw that seemed either most prevalent to some people I know, or just in general, and to myself. The original Arma might go away. Battlefield 1942, which is, in my opinion, a pretty good game. I have the friend who told me about all this, he's in, like, in love with this game, but it's, it's still a really big game. I mean, I played Battlefield Free 4 Play or whatever the hell it is, the Bad Company 2 free multiplayer version, and there was not nearly as many people playing that game as in Battlefield 1942, which is very impressive for a game from 2003, as opposed to a game from like, I think, uh, Free 4 Play was like 2010 or 2011 or something like that. Anyways, Call of Duty 1 and 2, uh, this is a personal one for me, I mean, I've never really played it much, but Commandos, all Commandos. The original Crisis, not Crisis 2 or 3, just the first Crisis, which I didn't even know it had multiplayer. Um, 
The original Far Cry, which if you haven't played that yet, even though multiplayer is getting away, I would highly recommend you go out and buy Far Cry, the original one. It is so much fun. I went to Goodwill. I found it for like maybe $2. Anyways, the first Halo is multiplayer is probably going away, but I highly doubt that it will go away. It'll just GameStop is, or GameSpy is going to stop supporting them. It will most likely go to someone else because it's such a big game and so many people still play it. I'm sorry, I keep rambling on. The original Medal of Honors. And here's another personal one for me. Quake 2, 3, and 4. I'm... I mean, four, I don't, I don't really give a monkey's flying poopy tailbone about, but I mean, come on, man. Two and three, especially three. And then also Unreal Tournament is going off. I mean, I know no one really likes Quake 3 or Unreal Tournament unless you're like super addicted to it, but I enjoyed them. I mean, with multiplayer, those were where I went, really. Here's one for a few of my friends, I think. And a bunch of people on Steam, I'm assuming. Shogun Total War. I don't exactly know what that game is about, but I see it a lot on Steam. It's on sale. It's like on the top 100 most played games. It's going away. Um, the original... No, not the original. Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2. Did anyone even play it on PC? I don't know. I have it. I have Battlefront 2 on my PS2. The original Ghost Recons, meaning Ghost Recon, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter, and Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2. And that's just a small list that I just picked out of this site. I'll leave a link to the site below so you can go and, and see if there's any games that affects you in any way. Feel free to like share with your friends, go like my Facebook page, subscribe to my channel if you want to. I'm not going to tell you how to do any of that, because I know you know how to click a button. I'll see you again later sometime. Don't know when. Enjoy your games while you can.